I'm very happy and honored to stand here with Judy Shepard today. This good woman, this mother, has suffered a tragedy no parent should endure. And in doing so, she's opened our nation's eyes to the brutality of hate crimes and the urgent need for Congress to do something about it. This week, we'll bring to the floor the Matthew Shepard hate crime legislation, so named in the honor of Judy Shepard's son. This bill would authorize the federal government to prosecute a hate crime when a state is unwilling or unable to do so. It would make two main changes in current law. First, the bill would add gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability as protected categories under our hate crime laws. Secondly, this bill removes the requirement that a victim be engaged in a federally protected activity, such as going to the post office, serving on a jury, or attending a public school before the federal government could prosecute. In addition, the bill also authorizes funds for the Justice Department to award grants to state and local law enforcement agencies that have incurred extraordinary expenses in investigating and prosecuting these crimes. It will give state and local governments the option of asking federal authorities for help in prosecuting these heinous crimes. When Wyoming police pursued justice in Matthew's case, Matthew's murder, they needed resources they didn't have. The police couldn't call in federal law enforcement for help, and their expensive investigation devastated this very, very small police department. The police department consisted of 40 police officers. In an effort to go forward with this case to the best of their ability, they laid off five of the police officers. Think how that devastated that small police force. Judy Shepard has shown incredible strength, leadership, and dedication to bringing justice to America and to her son. She and many others who have suffered have taught us that we cannot be afraid to call these crimes what they are, hate crimes. The last decade, decade Matthew Shepard's name has been associated with hate crimes. When this bill passes, his name will thereafter be associated with justice. Ms. Judy Shepard. Thank you, Senator Reid. I greatly appreciate the uh, opportunity to be here today and to thank the Senate for their uh, perseverance and patience in trying to get this bill through. It's been over 10 years since my son Matthew was murdered in Laramie, Wyoming um, because he was gay. It's been a long 10 years for us and we've waited and waited to have a compassionate understanding and accepted Congress to get this through, not just for what happened to Matt and to help the communities and local law enforcement um, able to proceed and prosecute these cases better, but all the other victims that are um, suffering now in the past or probably in the future as well. And this bill will send a great message of respect to the nation that the government understands that hate crimes against the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgendered community are on the rise. They are heinous. They're very violent. And even though they're not in the news as much as they should be every time they occur, um, this bill will greatly enable the prosecution and show respect to the nation that they understand these issues exist. I can't thank the senator enough for his leadership in the Senate and in uh, um, and the House as well for what they've done. Thank you all for being here today.